Hey, today I'm gonna make some Christmas presents for my family. Yesterday, unfortunately off camera, I already ripped these boards to width and sent them through the thickness planer and jointers for nice sharp edges and plain surfaces. Unfortunately, 52 in width and 21 in height is a bit too much for this frame size I had in mind, so I need to rip them further. I want to half two of these boards and keep these as is for a wider frame. This is the result from the cuts with the bandsaw. And as you can see, the two inner ones are a bit wider than the two outer ones, which means that we need to run them through a thickness plane to get them equally sized. This is what we got after planing. Next step is to make the cutouts for the glass and the picture to sit in. So this will be the outside, like the front side visible. That will be the inside and that will be the outside. And this is what we're gonna cut out of all of these. This was the first profiling operation and the we decided to cut a 45 degree slot in here. Next step is to make a bevel here. This is the bevel we just cut and the next step is to cut a round over on the other side over here. After much sawdust and much sawing, this is what we got. Enough for four picture frames. This is the inside and this is how they look on the outside. I used the stack of plywood to clamp down on the picture frames. Between these paper layers, there is each a picture frame. Let's look at the pieces. After a lot of sanding, this is today's result. Five frames, near identical, and ready to be oiled.
finish this project, I'm on my way to pick up the glass and the passport too. <laughs> Everything is here, let's assemble this. We have the backing, the glass, the passport two is in the pictures, the frames and the necessary hardware. <laughs> is really hard and I don't particularly like that process. Let's try one more and if that is as much pain as this one I'm gonna do something else. This wood is really hard and the nails are really soft. They are possibly made only for fur or something like that. Spruce but not for hard red beech. I could drill them open and use screws. Because these holes are too small for any screws. Yeah, let's do that. I tried the nails. These now all have bigger holes. Let's try screwing. Yay! This is a thrilling moment, all goes together now. Let's take this out. The glass goes in. Then the passepartout or mat goes in. And the picture goes in. Now the back plate goes on. And I'll fix it all with these spring spring clamp thingies. Springs. Let's look at this. I'm pretty happy. This picture was taken by a good friend of mine named Dennis. The link to his work is in the description. <laughs> <laughs>